Hi, I'm Mark Johnson. I'm President and Chief Operating Officer of Cytonet's U.S. Operations. I hope the next few minutes will be useful in helping you better understand urea cycle disorders, or UCDs. So my name's Miriam Voss, and I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist, and I work at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta and Emory University. So I'm one of the investigators for the Cytonet trial, and the goal of this study is to test the safety of liver cell infusions. And so it's infusing the hepatocytes, or just the liver cells themselves, into the liver to try to give a child with urea cycle disorder some function, so give them enough enzyme function to protect them so that they won't get high levels of ammonia. Urea cycle disorders are inborn errors of metabolism in the liver, and they're typically an error or a um, deficiency of one of six enzymes that are required for metabolizing the waste products of protein. So when we uh, eat protein and our livers metabolize them, we end up with a waste product called nitrogen, and we need our bodies need a way to get rid of that. In the urea cycle disorders, the liver is unable to get rid of that nitrogen, and so you end up with a buildup of ammonia. The problem with a buildup of pneumonia, ammonia is when it gets high, um, that can cause brain damage, can cause even, in severe cases, coma and death. In the very severe forms, the um, symptoms will start very early in the first few days of life, and initially they can be kind of lethargy, extra sleepiness, irritability, feeding problems, vomiting, um, so very nonspecific. Uh, if it's not treated or not caught, then they, the infant will go on to become sicker and can result in um, hypotonia, uh, hypoventilation or hyperventilation, coma, um, and even death. In the less severe forms where there's some partial function of the enzyme, they, um, typically you wouldn't see them get so sick initially. Um, but then they can do fine for a while, but maybe uh, at the time of another illness, like a cold, flu, something like that, when that comes along, that um, hypercatabolic state that all children, we all get when we get sick, can result in increased protein metabolism, so then they get sick at that point. So they could present at three months, six months, a year, two years, um, just depending on how well that enzyme functioned you know, to, to allow them um, to do well until that point. Um, if they present later, the symptoms could be a little, very nonspecific again. It can be things like lethargy, um, kind of being more ill than you expect from another illness, uh, things like behavior problems later in childhood, childhood can also be seen. If a physician is seeing a newborn or a neonate who's very ill, I think it's important to send an ammonia level early on. And it's a simple test, it doesn't take a lot of blood, um, and so that, I think, would help to detect more infants earlier uh, in, the, in the process. Uh, once you get an elevated ammonia, I think that the next step would be to get a geneticist or a metabolic physician involved early.